Today, the blockbuster watchdog report on the FBI's handling of the Clinton email probe to be released. Our next guest predicts this will not be good news for James Comey and other high-ranking FBI members of their leadership, past and present. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton has, a, has played a leading role in uncovering the Clinton email scandal and joins us now with more. Tom, a couple of things that you think that will come out today that even you didn't know about are... Oh, I'm sure we're going to get details about uh, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page and their text messages because the IG has reviewed all those text messages. We're going to find out more about the FBI and the DOJ and uh, the politicization of the Clinton email scandal. For instance, Loretta Lynch said that uh, the, her meeting with Bill Clinton cast a cloud over the email investigation. My guess is the IG is going to re agree with her. Yeah, and she should have recused herself. Now, James Comey comes out, and the Clinton people will always tell you he hurt us so much and exonerated us in the end with that press conference. You have a different take on James Comey coming out, uh, listing everything Hillary did wrong, and then saying there's no reason to pursue it criminally. What do, you, what do you think? Well, James Comey and the leadership of the FBI, along with the DOJ, knew uh, that the investigation was wired. They had long decided not to prosecute Hillary Clinton. We're just going through the motions. So rather than justify and defend that corrupt investigation, they tried to distract from that uh, by uh, th throwing uh, Hillary Clinton under the bus a little bit. So she'll be vindicated a little bit, uh, but in the end, we'll have confirmation. The Clinton email investigation uh, really destroyed the credibility of the Department of Justice and the FBI. You know, and recall, the, the individuals involved in this email investigation, Comey, McCabe, Strzok, Page, Peter Strzok was the leading FBI agent on the Clinton email investigation all concurrently were going after Donald Trump. So you can't yeah, say they right. did the wrong thing on Hillary, and I don't think it's credible to say they did the right thing with respect to targeting the Trump campaign and, and all the spying and such. We know McCabe's up to his, uh, up to his neck in, with a criminal referral and problems. Who else do you think could be looking at a criminal referral from the Horowitz investigation? Well, that's the big question. We know James Comey's already under investigation for his mishandling of Donald Trump's FBI files. Uh, the question is, did the uh, obstruction rise to a, a, the level of a crime, as we know, uh, with Peter Strzok targeting uh, Donald Trump and protecting Hillary Clinton in those text messages, and uh, Comey breaking the rules uh, in order to uh, distract from FBI corruption in the Clinton investigation. We should get it this afternoon. There'll be an overview, and then there's going to be the 500 pages. Uh, a lot of this stuff, even for people like you, since there's so many redactions, is going to be brand new. Uh, That's right, and, and, it's, and it's going to be quickly, Brian, a vindication for President Trump because we're going to see that Comey did so many terrible things while FBI director, uh, and it confirms and right. reconfirms why he should have been fired. Well, Rod Rosenstein put it in a letter and recommended it. That got buried. Uh, Tom Fitton, thanks so much. We'll have you on pretty much every day to evaluate this. Appreciate <laughs> thanks, it. Thanks, Brian.